the calendar may say autumn, but temperatures are still pretty sweltering here in North Florida. But the good news, the radar is clear. Still hydration will be key today at TIAA Bank Field in Jacksonville. Today it's week three and we've got a good one in store as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Alongside my partner Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Jaguar team. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Eagles, it's been a great start to the season, back-to-back -back wins to begin the campaign. Yeah, you don't want to get too excited. There's still a lot of season to go, but they've come out playing good fundamental football, and that might carry them a long way. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. They're led by the number one overall pick in the 2021 draft, Trevor Lawrence. Okay, I thought there was something to build on in last week's game by his performance. I thought he played fairly well overall. The, the numbers won't knock your socks off. Two touchdown passes and an interception. The bottom line, though, they lost. Yeah. How does he eliminate that one interception, continue to take care of the ball, and maybe increase the number of times he puts the ball in the end zone with a receiver? Now Lawrence. And his first pass is incomplete. You look at this Eagle defense. They were very good in the win over Dallas a week ago. And all defensive teams that I know talk about creating turnovers. Takeaways, they call them. And anytime you can get two or more in a game, you've had a really, really good performance. They exceeded that number in a big way. They'll get this one complete to Zay Jones. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 to mark him down at the 39. The result of first down is a quick slant gets him 14. Lawrence now off the bootleg. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Josh Sweat rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. They'll run for the first time with Travis Etienne. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Now this defense for the Eagles very strong last week as they helped their squad improve to 2-0 on the young season. And every defensive team that we talk to, they spend a lot of time talking about creating turnovers. And anytime you get two or more in a game, you've had a really good performance. They exceeded that number in a huge way. They got the football back four times in the win. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. It's a gain of six, but not enough, as he'll be forced to punt on their first drive of the game. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. Hardman on the return. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he takes it all the way, but there is laundry on the field. A flag is down, and I think this one's coming back. I agree. Holding, receiving team. And that hold goes to wipe away a big return. And I know from the outside in, you think, why are you holding? Just make sure you don't grab anyone. But you want to keep people away from your return guy. And sometimes those sudden moves, that speed, you reach out and inadvertently do something, and the penalty flag comes out. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And a penalty flag down as he gets only about a yard. Now let's listen in on the call. So that's going to push him back half the distance. So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and ten. Running right, this is game well. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef, 
that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Flush down right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Brought down by Trayvon Walker on the pass rush. Two plays so far, a run and a pass attempt, and both have gone backwards. Probably not how they drew that up. Not at all. <laughs> Looking for a better play coming up on third. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Wow, and that is incomplete. They got some applause for the defense there. They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Now fair catch is called for and taken at the, we'll call it the 37-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. Very good starting field position for the Jaguars offense as they come up first and 10 hey, at their 38. Play action. It's Lawrence. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Christian Kirk, the man he was looking for, but it's going to be second down. You look at this Eagle defense. They were very good in the win over Dallas a week ago. Yeah, they gave up 17 points, but that's about what you consider the break-even mark. If you give up 17 points a game all year long, you're thinking you're going to be a playoff team. That's what you're looking for. Room to improve, of course. A pretty nice effort. Defense doing their job, really nowhere to run the football. Yeah, it's almost textbook, wasn't it? Every place you tried to find an open spot, there just wasn't one. Congrats to the defense, no game. Call fitting your gaps, right? I they try to find Chart, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Greg Newsom. And the Eagles will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. And I think this is a situation where a quarterback coach in the sideline is going to talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long, and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the football. Now throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. They started this drive with terrific field position, and it's going to get even better after that play. Had great options with where they started, so they decided to press their advantage, and it paid off. On first and ten, it's game well. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. The numbers on the ground for Gainwell last week, 20 carries, 61 yards, and a touchdown. Not a horrendous week last week running the ball, but definitely room for improvement for their numbers. No doubt, they made some slight adjustments to how they're going to call plays this week in hopes they can kick those numbers up a notch. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people, but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. They'll run here with Gamewell, and he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. Five yards, a good run there, and now second and goal. Johnson, he is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. That second down play, that's a minus four. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here, brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. Take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. One thing that you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. That one wasn't successful, but don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? 
don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense, the firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Out comes the Jaguar offense now as they get set to take over. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's we'll see if they can do better here on this drive. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. And the Eagles are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Hurts throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. That one, a first down pickup of eight. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. With your six-round pick, not many expect them to jump right in and contribute, but he's done a pretty nice job. As a six-round pick, you'll come in and just work harder. That's part of what goes into it because you want to prove you should have been picked higher. But we've seen six-round picks come in and play very well in this league. He will have the same opportunity. They added a lot of talent to a roster that really needed an infusion of youth. They got a very good infusion of youth. And they didn't really reach to get anyone as well. They stuck to their draft philosophy, got the best players they could at the time they were drafting, and inserted them into their lineup. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 33. Here's Hurts to throw. Flush to his right. That's complete to Dell. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. It's Devin Lloyd with a pick, and the Jaguars are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 13. They'll look to ETN to start things out. And able to get this to the 24-yard line. They began to play at the 12. It's also a pickup of 12 for the first down. That's good for the Jaguars. Hey, Lion, Lion. Hey, Brian. Now Lawrence. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Multiple defenders there to drop him for a loss of four. So after the sack here, second and 14. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. That's going to be caught by Kirk. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. I think defensively, you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Now Cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. Yeah. 
three nothing after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter and it's the Eagles in possession. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Running from the gun, Johnson. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Andre Cisco there on the stop. Here's second and 10. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He'll check this one down to Gamewell. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun, it's Hurts. Well, it's caught on the right side, it's Smith. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. They needed four, he doubled that. He wound up getting eight. The Eagles at 2-0 and here to begin the season. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience all on display in that victory. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. It's complete to Brown, right side. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Hurts connecting there with Brown for the Eagles first. From the gun, a run for Johnson. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Yasir Abdullah making the stop. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. On second down, game well looking for space. And the running lane's non existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Throwing his hurts. Eluding the pressure right. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. They run behind center with Gainwell. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Burt sets up to throw it. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Another good drive, Charles, but it looks like another that might end in a field goal try. They've made some nice plays. They've given themselves opportunities. But as you noted, another field goal attempt coming up. And that's not how they want to end drives. They've got to figure out what's the final touch that they need to push it across the goal line. Yeah, still yet to find the end zone. Well, it's no secret. That's why they have him return punts. He has the capability to take them back, and he did so there. Hill going to think better of bringing this one out, and the drive will start at the 25. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. They are still in search of their first points in the ball game, but only down 6 0 as they begin with a first down. Hey, hey, hey. 
On play action, Lawrence. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. Not many boos just yet from this home crowd, but they may be starting soon as I'm starting to detect an uneasy murmur through this crowd. This offense, they've been lifeless in this first half. And now here's another punting situation and a fourth down. Here's Hardman to return. And nine yards there on the return following a punt of 47. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. The big gainer there on the catch and run, 37 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Straight ahead, it's game well. And a short gain down to about the 33. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Hurts. Pass to Brown. He's got it on the crossing route. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 13-yard line. But first down, Hurts. Throw over the middle is taken in by Dell. And that's good for a gain of six. And it's second down. Up the middle, Johnson. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. A great play there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Eagles are able to extend their lead. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals. Before this one, they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it works very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game, and that three and out on the last possession, that told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. Lawrence's throw into the hands of Kirk. And Kirk is going to have the Jaguars first down as he's up to the 40-yard line. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Off the play fake, here's Lawrence. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Thus far, they have been able to move the line of scrimmage very well in the running game. Almost felt like they said in the huddle, can you guys pass protect? Let's take a big shot downfield. Didn't get it on that one, but they may come back to it again. 
And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Lawrence escaping the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. On first and 10, it's ETN. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. On second down, ETN once more. Not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, and he's miles away and smiling. And happy. Lawrence finding Kirk there for the Jaguar first. Now back to throw. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'm guaranteed he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 13-yard line. A third down conversion with a strong gain of 14. Now here's a whistle as flags come in. And we'll check out the call. Ball start, offense. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Red on red. They go play action with Lawrence. On the move to his left. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Touchdown, Jaguars! Evan Ingram, his second touchdown on the season. And the Jaguars are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point attempt here still to come. And this is back to a five-point game. So that drive spans 13 plays. And Evan Ingram able to finish it off with a touchdown reception. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. McCole Hardman to return it from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Eagles offense is going to take over late in this first half. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. That is caught by Dell. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an outer boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Second and 10. 
Here's Hurts to throw. This short throw caught by Goddard. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we have reached halftime here in what's an eight-point game. But no break needed. Let's get back to it. Week three, here we go with quarter three. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. And here's a handoff to Gainwell. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Now a third down three, and it misses the target incomplete. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it. And that's a strong performance there defensively to force the incompletion, and more importantly, force a quick punting situation. It's a 44-yard punt, just three on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Here comes the Jags offense now. Time for their first possession of half number two. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. And only a couple for him there as the tacklers made it to 42. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Lawrence will throw. And this is going to be incomplete. We're into the second half now. This is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. That's fielded at the eight-yard line. It's a 47-yard punt, but they did give up 10 on the return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. They'll try the left side with Gamewell. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. And they'll go right back to Gainwell here on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Basement. Defense. 
Well, you hate that defensively. They had it pretty well corralled, but the face mask, that obviously changes things. Yeah, it's a bit frustrating because you feel like you did everything right. You had him stop, but the hand gets up just a little too high, and the natural inclination is to hold on, and that's going to get called every time. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. Now a second and ten. On the handoff, Gainwell on a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. They'll give up the middle to Johnson. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. And now after the delay of game, they're operating behind the stick, second and 15. Off the play fake. Here's Hertz. Well, this is Smith with a grab. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold or did they rough the quarterback? So the big gain, all for naught for the offense. That yellow flag is going to bring it back. Oh, what a tough look for the offense because they see all that yardage lost and that ball's walked back and then some behind the original line of scrimmage. Setting up the screen with game well. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It'll be a gain of five. And that'll bring up second down. Boy, that one was well read defensively. And this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. And they're going option play on third down. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. Eighth play of the drive forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. He'll look to throw. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, maybe said, forget about the sticks. We won six. Those are the kids that you were. You might have to confront again in the end. You had a chance to go up by two scores here in the third quarter, but your kicker can't convert. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. He lost four there, and it's third down. Now, right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. It certainly appears that he's been able to get a read on how they've wanted to contain him in this game. He's seen some places where he can beat them in big spots, and right there, he slides in with ease for the first down. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half, to about the 39. Ball on the 39. Here's second down and eight. Here's Lawrence to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. One first down here, and that's all, folks. 
Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Averaging 50 yards a boot so far as this one's away. And this will get inside the 20 and be touched down just outside of the 15-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And the way their last drive ended, boy, it was frustrating. They had a pretty good drive going. It was sustained, and then it stalled out, Charles, and they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it. Is that insult to injury? Because they had such a sustained drive, as you noted. So you know for the head coach, it almost felt like a little bit of failure to send out the field goal unit, and then didn't even see the ball go through the post. What a bummer on that last drive for them. Got to pick themselves up from that one. A give running right is game well. And he's able to get up here to the 26. 45 yards rushing for him now to this point. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. Got what they needed there. The drive continues with a nine-yard pickup. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now whistles and a stoppage here. Looks like one of the Eagles is in some discomfort out there. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Now a screen set up for Johnson. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so are they going to be diligent. Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. And the Jags are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 21. Now ETN to start the drive. Up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And this will be a Jaguars first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. Give up the gut to Hill. Takes it to about the 37. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. On second down, a run with ETN. That's a strong running. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And he is going to have a Jags first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. A couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and ten up at the 46. ETN up the middle. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. Back now in Jacksonville. It's Jaguar football, but a little work to do for them. They trail here as we start the fourth. Hey, easy. Route, route, route. 
Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Jaguar linemen might have moved. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. ETN once more. They'll get only a couple down to the 44. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Now Lawrence. That's going to be caught by Kirk. So the completion good for seven there. And now third down and six to go. Now Lawrence. He'll get this out to the flat for ETN. And they get him down about two yards shy of the line to gain. A third down pickup of five. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Here we go. Got to have it. Lawrence has taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Jaguars first down. And they get it easily. A gain of five on fourth and one. Running out of the gun with ETN. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Lawrence. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this game, and he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Loss of 10 as multiple defenders get to him. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This will be from 56 yards out. And his kick is clear. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. And the lead slims to five now at 15-10. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the flow of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. So here are the Eagles to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and 10. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. They start the drive here with Gamewell into about the 23. Well, how about the big guy there showing some agility? He just flowed from his D tackle position in order to make that play. Ball at the 23, second and eight. Throwing his hurts. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. Pretty solid run here on first down. Almost picked up another first, but he appears to be a few inches short. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. 
The Eagles on third down. They've hit on half of them. Five for ten. They're looking at third and a few inches. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Brandon, unfortunately, I've been here before. They've had two opportunities to stop them, so this is demoralizing. They haven't gotten it done. Now you're calling all your blitzes, all your attack defenses, but you're not worried about playing your normal position. You're going to take chances now. Well, you said it. Two third down opportunities to get off the field. Couldn't do it, and the clock continues to roll. Now, despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. That play was well covered. Just tried to check it down. Unfortunately, not able to find any yardage on that one. Second down. Here's Jalen Hurts. Flushed out right. And Hurts able to show off some of that elusiveness as he slides to the ground there and in the process picks up the first down. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. They go play action with Hurts. That's complete to Dell. Touchdown, Eagles! Take Dell, 32 yards. And the Eagles are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now, yeah, win yeah, probability yeah. index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team is playing, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And Hill will opt for the touchback. Jacksonville back on offense and ready to take over. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Now Lawrence on first down. That's caught on the left side by Kirk. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Now Lawrence to throw. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off by Greg Newsom. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. So a fourth quarter pick six here, and that one might put this game out of reach, CD. I certainly agree with that, partner. And I know one thing, though. That team that just got the pick six, they're going to keep playing until this one's over. Better be careful. They're looking to get another one. Elliott good on the extra point, and that will make this a 19-point game. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Here comes the Jaguars offense as they get set to go again. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. 
And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. 77 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. First down, Philadelphia. On first and ten, it's game well. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. They'll try and run down some clock with Johnson. And only a couple there up to about the 23-yard line. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Hurts. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. 18 yards, a big pickup there on third down. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. That's some good hard running there as he'll push his way forward for about five. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it at them. We've got them now. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. So it's a victory here for the Philadelphia Eagles, and it was their defense that led the way, allowing...